All right. So I'm going to set my little blanket off to the side because I think we'll use it in a bit. Um, and then we'll just start in the middle of the mat facing one another so you can bring your toes, your feet in. And then maybe spread your toes a little bit away from one another and then feel your heels. Just one and then the other kind of press into the floor. So just that little bit, little act of balancing. Good, we'll try that a couple of times. So one heel, then the other heel. Good, and then let's anchor two heels. And then I want you to try lifting the ball of one foot down and up. Got my hands here just on my sacroiliac. And then the ball of the other foot, just feeling your balance connecting to that this morning, good. And then from there, with your feet spreading, reaching out, see if you can feel the ankles pull up and your knees pull up as the tailbone drops and the sitting bones pull slightly down. So the energy in the legs is a lift through the thump and then a drop down through the back of the legs. Good, and just see how that helps you feel more anchored this morning. And then vamos a mover los pulgares adentro. So move your thumbs in, and then you can move your thumbs out. And then we're gonna move the thumbs in, move the thumbs out, and feel this as rotation, movement from inside your shoulder socket. And we'll just take this a few times. Good. And then from here, hold the roll of your thumbs out. And then let's begin to exhale, bring your arms up and then right back down in front of the torso. So you'll inhale, sweep the arms up and then exhale, pull them down right in front of the torso. Thumbs out, arms up and then exhale right back down. Good, last time, inhale and then exhale. Bring your palms in front of your chest, press the heels of the hands, the knuckles into one another, almost mirroring that same energy you have in your feet. And then let's let the chin move in and the top of the head move up. We're gonna take a few deep breaths here. Good, see if your breath can move way down low in your pelvis, and exhale, move all the way up. Feeling that link through your spine as you breathe. Good, take another breath or two here. Here comes John. And then we're gonna inhale, sweep, take your arms all the way back up and then bend your knees this time as your palms come in front of you. So you'll inhale, stretch, reach up, open the arms, and then bending the knees as you come down. Let's inhale, open, and then exhale, bring the palms down in front. Inhaling, open. It's almost like a swimming action here. Exhale, lengthening the back. Good, let's reverse this direction. So now the arms are gonna travel down with you as the knees bend. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's take this a couple more times. Inhaling, stretching, and exhale, coming down. Inhale, opening up, exhale down. This last time here, let's go ahead and hold for a moment and place your hands on your lump, on your two thighs, on your muslos, and then stretch, reach your neck, your cuello up, and now your head comes down, la cabeza bajo, stretch in between your shoulder blades, los homoplatos. So here we go, up, 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 estirando la garganta, stretching the throat, and then exhale, la cabeza bajo, taking your head down. Beautiful, let's do this one more time. Inhale, stretch up, and exhale, round. Now from your round, release your arms, and exhale, sweep the arms all the way out. Good, let's bend the knees and exhale, fly out into a flat back. So you're going kind of from Utkatasana 
flat back. Here we go. Let's take a few more. Exhale, volando, extendiendo. Look your arms all the way out. Beautiful. Como alas, like wings here. And then we're gonna exhale. So you take that all the way back up to standing. Las palmas juntas, bring your palms together. And then exhale, los talones, Really reach your heels up. Arms at your sides as the heels come down. And then exhale, you'll push the palms in as you lift your heels up and then release. Good, inhale. And exhale, it's like that push is happening as your heels are coming up. Go try this a couple more times. Inhale and exhaling to push. Good, inhale. Let's now pause with your heels lifted and take your chin over your hombros. You're just taking the chin back and forth. Beautiful, let's exhale and release. Let's just step our feet a little bit wider now. Good, inhale, open the chest. And then exhale once again, find a flat back. We're gonna inhale, open the chest, roll the thumbs back. Good, getting a big stretch. And exhale, coming adelante. Estirandos, you're stretching back. Good, and forward. Beautiful, all the way up, abierto, abriendo el pecho, good. Now from here, hold, and we're gonna lightly bend the knees just a few times. The feeling that your center, your abdominales are connected, fuerte, conectada. Good, let's take two more. Excellent. Las manos aquí en los muslos. And then you're gonna come stretch across your midline and then inhale, come up. Esteremos otro lado, letting your back stretch. And then all the way back up. Inhale, stretch. And exhale up. And stretch over. And up, let's do this one more time. Good, now we'll inhale, sweep, take the arms up, roll the thumbs back, and then take opposite hand towards your ankle, your tobillo, arriba, and then exhale, stretching, reaching across. Inhaling up, arriba, exhale, girando y bajando. Good, all the way up, 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 and across. Inhale up, y ahora cruzando. Muy bien, so now from here, let's pause on the way up, and you're gonna turn your heels out, bring your palms together once again, and then the palms are gonna reach up while your two knees bend. So bajamos y arriba. Good, we lower la pelvis, and then it comes right back up. Good, and feel your heels, plantas del pie, the balls of the feet, anchored into the floor. Beautiful, let's do dos, tres más here. Good, really feeling the knees open, inner thighs working. Beautiful, and then you're gonna exhale, pull one elbow in. Good, hablamos abajo. Y empujamos arriba. So you push up and you kind of pull down. Arriba y alamos abajo. Good. And remember, it's like a push, push, push as you reach. Good. And exhale. Let's pause up here for a moment. Try lifting your heels and setting them down. Lifting your heels. Setting them down, lifting your heels. Down, lift, and down. Dos más. Two, and one. Good, exhale, stretch, come all the way up. Let's turn. I'm gonna turn my left toes in, maybe do your right just so you can mirror me. And we're gonna exhale, bend and straighten. Movemos, 
Estiramos. Good. Doblamos. Alagamos. Good. So your knee bends and it straightens. Kind of feeling yourself move through a warrior two here. Good. We're going to pause in this warrior two. Take an elbow down. So you stretch towards that thigh. And then if it feels good, open the arm and stretch towards the floor. You're going to lengthen out your back. Uttita Asta Parsvo Kanasana, top arm over the ear, and then the hip moving in and down. Good, and then from here, let's stretch. Este Ramos, you're gonna stretch and lengthen your whole leg. The tree Kanasana. Good, and then we're gonna exhale, come right back up, turn those toes in, take a little Pado Tanasana, wide leg forward fold, before we try that on the other side. Let me just do a little fix here. All right, so from your Pado Tanasana, from your wide leg forward bend, Subimos, nos levantamos otra vez, coming all the way up. Now turn your opposite toes out. And you're gonna take that same practice of bend and straighten. So the knee opens, abriendo la rodilla, you're opening the knee while you're bending. Good. And then let's pause, hold that knee, take the elbow there towards your muslo, towards your thigh. And you can feel that bottom rib cage roll in. So it's right in line with the top ridge. It's gonna pull slightly forward. And then exhale, let the top hand come down if you'd like. And you can deepen your stretch here and take your top arm Bueno, el brazo superior sobre la oreja, over your ear, sobre la oreja. Good, and then that top arm, brazo superior, arriba otra vez, take it up again. And then let's just stretch and lengthen out your bottom leg, la pierna inferior. And you can check in, look down, you can move the pierna, adentro, you can move that leg in, un poquito. Good, and then empujamos, we'll push through both feet, exhale, come right back up. Two arms down in a parotanasana, otra vez, los brazos abajo. And now stretch, take one arm all the way up, a big opening, big twist. Good, y otra dirección, you're gonna take that the other way. Good, and then exhale, coming back down. I'm gonna pivot all the way around towards, this is my right leg. So maybe it's your left if you're mirroring me. And then you're gonna lift and push your weight back into a down dog. Good, so in your down dog, take a few little mini push-ups just to wake up your arms. Good. And then from here, you can take a few mini bends in your knees just to kind of wake up and stretch the backs of the legs, get blood flow, get a little circulación. Good, movimiento del sangre. Beautiful, so now take your front leg and lift it. So the leg closest to the computer screen, let it lift and lower, big long stretch, just a few times. Good, and then we're gonna bend that knee and place the foot between your hands, turn your back toes out slightly as you come up. 
in a warrior one just to begin so push the back heel into the floor and lift your thigh bone good so we're going to try a couple little down and up so keep your front knee bent this first time and come down towards the floor good and then with that arm closest to the computer screen reach it back Good, so feel your tricep helping you extend the spine. And then from here, take that top arm up all the way. So you've moved into a twist. Good, now straighten your front leg and then really move this into Parivrita Trikonasana. So you're feeling a long spine, una columna, una columna larga. Good, and long legs. Dos piernas largas también. Okay, so now bring that arm down, el brazo abajo. And we're going to do this. Start to turn away from the computer screen. And then you stretch yourself over, now your opposite front leg. This front leg now reaches back, and you're back in a down dog. We just got the other side now facing the computer screen. So that's the cosa importante. Everybody will follow us. Let me put my hands here and push with your hands. Bend and straighten your elbows, your codos. Good. Now hold that firmness in your arms. Bend. And straighten, doblamos y arragamos las piernas. Good. So now, una pausa, pause here, and your pierna, your front leg, the leg closest to the computer, you're going to lift and lower. So it's going to go just a few times. Remember that slower the lower, siempre más lento. Cuando bajamos. Good. And now bending that knee. Let's exhale. Take the foot forward. Place it, if you like, just behind your front hand. Good. And then turn those back toes out slightly. Push through the foot. Lift up. Feel a warrior one. So let your whole abdominal wall stretch out here. Estira, estira, estira. Good. And then from here, with that front knee bent, go ahead, come down. And just feel that you're going to do two things. Well, a few things. Lift your back thigh up. So if it's falling in towards the floor, lift the thigh and reach it back. And send the heel down towards the floor on that back leg. Lengthen out your whole back. See if you can even lift your head there above your tailbone. Take your top of that arm closest to the computer take it up good stretch reach through the palm good exhale rotate lift up just a hair take the arm up if you like now begin to lightly extend your front knee Hari Vritha Trikonasana excellent so now you're gonna Go ahead, bring that arm all the way back down. And once again, these toes turn in. Pivot, pivot, pivot. And now we're over the opposite leg. All right, so now we're gonna take a little lunge. You're gonna take your um, back knee down towards the floor, let your chest open. And then push and reach your weight back. Let's try that a few times. So down to three. And then up, two, three, down, two, three. Remember that the knee comes down, the hips move forward, the head rises up. And then you exhale and just reverse that. Good, one more time. Down, two, three, foot hold. See if you can lift your weight. Good, let the arms come to your side. Stay here for a moment, or if you can, 
lift through that back thigh up. Woo. And come right back down. Exhale. Hands underneath. We can talk about that if that was a challenge. Take your front foot back. Good. Back up into a little down dog here for a moment. Excellent. Good. And now let's take your um, front leg leg closest to the computer screen. Up once again. Bend the knee. Big stretch. And then you're going to bring that foot forward if you can. Good. And then we're going to see about um, lifting up once again into a warrior. Bringing your hands onto your low back. And exhale, stretch, reach your sternum up. Good. And then you're going to put your hands here on your hips if you'd like and just transfer weight into your front leg and lift the back foot up. Make this small. Good. And then exhale, reach it right back into a little lunge. Inhale the arms, slow it up. Good. Back through a warrior one slowly coming down. And once again, you're going to take that pivot through Padottanasana onto the other side. So here we go. Same thing. You're going to start by letting your knees bend. Let your sternum come forward, a deep stretch of the hips. And then exhale, really push through the feet to bring yourself up. So we're gonna go down, two, three, really feel your weight as it moves to the floor. Good, where's their stiffness? And then exhale, lifting right back up. Two more, down, two, three. Making sure your front knee is right over your tobillo. Rodilla, sobre, tobillo, your knee over ankle. Good. And now from here, see if you can hold this weight down. Take the arms, stretch, reach them up. Good. Arms here to your sides. And you'll get firm through both feet. And then we're going to exhale. See about lifting, lifting, lifting. Good. Inhale. And then you'll exhale. Take your two hands down. Take that front foot back. Once again, in a down dog. Good. So in your down dog, think about melting the top of your head. Bueno, la cabeza abajo. And then your front leg, let it come up. You'll bend the knee, lift it, stretch it, and then exhale that foot right behind your front hands. Plant the back heel, find a warrior. Good, palms here, back behind you, open the chest. Good, now your two hands to your hips. Good, and then you're gonna take that weight into your front leg and just practice lifting the back leg up for five breaths. And then exhale, this time step that foot in and lightly just move through your feet a few times. Right, left, izquierda, derecha, izquierda, derecha. Okay, so now we're gonna turn. This is my left side facing the computer. Maybe it's your right side if you're mirroring me. So here we go. Inhale, your arms move up. And then exhale, we're going to take your fingertips, take them towards the floor, a long forward bend. Good, we're going to inhale, look up. And then exhale, walk your hands out. Right, left, right. So now, from here, let your two knees melt down, your sternum lifts, and then you're going to push and lift right back up. Let's see if we can try five of those. 
So down, two, three, hips, two, three, then you lift all the way back up, feeling that undulation. Beautiful. Down, two, three, lift the head, two, three, take it up, two, three, very nice. Let's try one more time. Down, two, three, hips, two, three, good. Hold, move your hips back and take your arms, press firm into the floor, lift the hips up, walk your feet in and get a lot of length in your back here. Good, let's exhale, bend the knees, lift the elbows, lift the knees, back to a down dog, walk your hands, right, left, right, all the way back in, forward bend, and a big sweep takes you all the way back up to standing. Good, so with your leg, furthest from the computer screen, which is my right leg, I'm gonna step to the center of my mat, put my hands on my low back, and then try that little lift again. So maybe my back leg is gonna come up a little higher this time. And I'm just gonna spend five breaths with my low back feeling pretty even. Good, and then we're gonna switch this up by taking your front foot. So that leg that was in the air, put it next to your back foot, and then you're gonna turn. So now you have the opposite leg back. You're facing the other way. Good, so give yourself a moment to get anchored there. So now the opposite foot is in the center of the mat. Take the weight into the leg. Feel your back leg lift and really keep your hands on the sacroiliac area. And then exhale, just lift this leg into your mat. If you lose your balance, put your foot down. You can kind of re, and I want you to keep your hips facing the same direction. So don't turn this hip out, but instead really focus on keeping those hips even and lift your leg less. Good, exhale, step that foot in. And then we're gonna pivot once again around, turning the other way. So now I have the opposite leg in front, I'm facing the opposite direction. Lift the back foot up, keep the knee bent. And then we're gonna just see about traveling towards the floor. The fingertips come down, stretch the leg up. Good. I can try that a couple of times. So now the hips open a little, stretching the leg, lifting all the way up. Try one more time. Good. And then from here, bend that knee. Take your weight through your front leg. Exhale, set it down. Pivot on that foot. We're going to try that same sequence. Now face in the opposite direction. So give that a go. You'll put weight in the front foot, lift the back foot up. Good. Now if it feels comfortable, begin to travel towards the floor. And you've got one leg in the air. So if you can lift, stretch, take it all the way up. Good, another big breath, and then exhale. You can be soft with that knee as you bring yourself back up and into standing. Good, so now we're gonna shift gears here just a little bit. Put your blanket, namanta, in the middle of your mat. We can have a nice even fold here. And we're gonna begin by placing your knees 
las rodillas encima. So put your two knees on top here. And then put your hands on your sacrum. So you're going to try to lift your thigh bones up. And then I'm going to reach my fingertips in the opposite direction and squeeze my scapula together. Pull the scapula together. The head come back. And then exhale. When and as you come up, make sure you push down with the feet to lift. So take that same version with your hands on your back or slide your hands here to the backs of the legs and you'll keep lifting your muslos, subiendo elevando los muslos while you come back. Exhale, pushing into the feet, empujando por los pies para levantar otra vez. Okay. So now you can try all those, either hands on the back, hands on the thighs, or hands to your rodilla, to your talones, hands to your heels. And then the same thing happens here. You lift the thighs. Subimos arriba los muslos. Good, now push through the feet to lift and come right back up. Let's take your hands now to the inner thighs and melt the top of your head down. Good. I really pull your scapula apart here. So big stretch. Este dando grandísimo por la escapula. Inhale, let's look up. Let's walk our feet back once again and then you're going to put your blanket here in the center and we're going to put our forearms on top so first thing you do is make sure your blanket stack however you have it is nice and even all right so then from there you push your forearms just into the into your blanket and i want you to pull your scapula up so instead of letting the scapula sink towards the floor, it's almost like you're in a little forearm plank. And then from here, let's bring your hands all the way together and push through the outside edges of your hands and through your forearms, your antebrazos. Good, so now nos miramos arriba, look up just a second. And then exhale, begin just taking your head down so that the head moves in between your two brazos. Once your head is between your arms, I want you to try lifting the scapula again. So when you squeeze the scapula up, your head lifts off of the mat and then right back down. So you can just play with those sensations a few times or if it feels nice to now lift your hips and pelvis up then straighten your knees. Doblando, arragando, arragando las rodillas. You can try that and then walk your hips, your cadera, adelante. And then bring your perhaps one foot, perhaps both feet off of the floor. And then you're going to push through your forearms. Empujamos por los antebrazos to lift up. So if you come into a little headstand here. Something you can work on is just bending the knees, feeling the knees lift slightly so that the glutes and hamstrings engage. Bueno, por los glúteos, por los femorales, and then you stretch with that all the way back up and give it a few breaths. Again, practice this with one leg lifted. Practice this with just your head on the floor, taking the tailbone up. Good, and then you're gonna slowly bend the knees once again. Until you take your feet all the way back down to the floor. Good, and then let's relax your neck and let that part of you stretch out just a little bit.
Good. And then we're going to inhale, just look up for a second. So I've got, I'm in a kind of frog position here with my talones, with my heels right underneath my sitting bones. And then from there, I'm going to push and lift. So I've come into a standing hang and I'm going to really let my neck completamente relajar. So let your neck relax completely here. Good, inhale, let's bend once again, bend through the knees, doblamos por las rodillas. You can practice making this a little bit of a balance, un poco de equilibrio. Good, and then your fingertips, los deditos en el piso otra vez, your fingers in the floor, push and lift, relax your neck. Relajando el cuello. Good. Let's do that one more time. Doblando, you know. So you're coming all the way down otra vez. Los isquillones sobre los talones. Your sitting bones over your heels. Brazos arriba, arms up. Good, brazos anchos, arms wide. And then exhale, bring that right down. Good, and exhale to lift. This time take opposite hand to your ankles and pull your shoulder blades apart. So a big, so Dickie, this really helps me stretch my sacroiliac area. So I pull the elbows apart and let my head go. And then another thing you can try is los brazos taking your hands here back behind the leg, detrás de la pierna, and then your tailbone up, melting, melting la columna, hundiendo la columna. Good. We're going to come back down this time, and we're going to prepare. So you're going to take your blanket. I'm turning it the other way, and we're going to start doing some stuff to take us all the way down to the floor. So I'm actually just gonna sit in front of my blanket and my blanket is in a good, smooth, even stack because my shoulders are gonna be on top of it here in a minute. So start by reaching your fingertips here towards your dedos, el pie. Good. And then we're gonna inhale, sit all the way up. And then exhale. I just want you to round back, round back, round back. Feel your hands here on your thighs. Feel your belly connected. Raise an arm and let it come down. Raise the opposite arm and let it come down. Good. Try this just a couple of times. Feeling your core muscles connected to this lift. Good. Now you can take two arms up. So keep the shape of your back. La figura de la espalda because that is la conexión, that's your abdominal connection. Good, so let's try this again. And then exhale, hands your thighs, come stretch forward for a moment. So just think, la columna mueve adentro, your um, spine is gonna move in, 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 más cerca del resto del cuerpo, a little bit closer to the rest of your body. Y no sentamos arriba, you're gonna sit up, Exhale, keep your hands, manos connected to your muslos, your thighs, and then exhale, la pierna estira afuera y adentro. So I'm just stretching um, one leg out and back down, two, and one, muy bien. You can provide a little resistencia. We're gonna try that on the other side. It's creating a little resistance there between your muslo and your mano. Good. Good. Let's inhale, move, movimos. You're gonna move your spine adelante otra vez. Good. And then let's exhale, nos sentamos arriba, sitting up. Pull the belly in. Woo, two legs, dos piernas, arriba, abajo. Cinco y cuatro y tres. 
Y dos. Y uno. Okay, take that last time from here. Feet back down. You're going to come stretch forward. Good. Continuing to release your back and your neck. When and as you're working on building. Fortaleciendo. Bueno. Tus abdominales. All right. So now let's sit up. And we'll sit back once again, and the two legs will rise. The two arms move forward. Good. Good. Now stretch one leg, stretch the other leg. Give this single breaths, five respiraciones. Good. Bend the knees. Come stretch forward, allowing the back to release cada vez. Good. Now from here, hands right underneath your shoulder blades. Push through the feet. Lift the pelvis up. Five breaths. Good. Exhale and release. So we're going to start bringing our weight down. So the idea is I'm going to come over my blanket. And then my head is going to be on my blanket. And my, I'm sorry, my shoulders are going to be on my blanket. My elbows are going to be on my blanket, firm and snug, but no, not my head. So if you need an extra prop for lifting your pelvis, you can put that there. So it could be just like a block or I've got a little poof here. And this is going to help you get your pelvis overhead. So just know that's an option. So everybody could try just here for a moment with your hips propped up, lifting the legs. Good. If you don't need a prop, that's great too. And now from here, you're going to exhale, lift your pelvis off of your prop and then take your thighs up above your eyes, eyes to thighs, Good, and I want you to really feel your shoulder blades pulling in and together. Now, if you have a block back here, you can kind of hold that block or hold your prop to make sure you keep that firm adduction in your arms. So this is Halasana. Let's be in this pose. I think it's a good opportunity to stretch the balls of the feet. Big opening here. And then you can put your hands on your hips. And then I'm going to move my hips back toward my hands, my muslos. Good. Then the knees lift <laughs> over your hips. And then you can exhale, lift, estirando las rodillas. And then you can walk your torso, make it a little longer in Sarvangasana. Good. So remember, you're going to keep that energy through the backs of the legs and the fronts of the legs that help support you here. You could take one leg down and right back up. The opposite leg down. And right back up. Good. And then from here, slowly bringing your hands back to the floor and pulling. Los abdominales adentro, pulling your abdominal wall in. You could slowly, slowly come down. So now, if you have a prop underneath your pelvis, lift and move it away. And then we're going to do just a couple of things. You want to press your elbows into the floor and lift onto the top of your head. So stretch your neck and your throat. La garganta aquí, this is your throat, and your neck, your cuello, stretch in the opposite direction. And then you're on top of your head, pulling your shoulder blades, homoplatos, un juntos. Good. Muy, 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 muy bien. 
Let's push the elbows down and release. Let me check the time really quick. Oh, we have plenty of time, so this is great. So now we're gonna just work a little bit on back bend. So I'm gonna move my blanket out of the way for now. And we're gonna work three different back bends, and then we're gonna take a proper Shavasana. So in a back bend here, just start with your heels lined up with your sitting bones and your kneecaps stay right in line with your hips. So in Pujamos, this is Satu Bandha Sarvandasana. You're just going to push the feet into the floor, raise the pelvis up. So that's always your first action is that push down, then lift the pelvis. Then you can again walk your shoulder blades together if you like and lift your rib cage. And you're gonna try not to look from side to side here, but keep your eyeballs relaxed, taking your chin away from your chest, but your chest towards your chin. So that upper part of your neck stays released. Good, let's exhale and come down for a moment. Stretch your knees if you like, side to side, just a hair. And now we're gonna work on Chatu Padasana. This is another back bend. So you would take your hands and reach them towards your feet. And so maybe your hands here would just connect to your ankles for a moment. Could be, so an option, could be an option here. And then you can walk your hands or lift the pelvis rather all the way up, pushing, pushing, pushing through the feet. And again, give this just a few breaths. Good, firm feet. Good, exhale and release. So now practice either one of those back bends again or take your arms up and everybody could, even if you're not gonna lift into a full Urdhva Dhanurasana today, everyone could practice taking your arms alongside the ears just to begin. And then folding back, so now you would tuck your hands underneath your shoulders and try just moving the elbows out and in for a moment and maybe stretching your wrists a little so you're not putting a lot of inappropriate pressure here on the wrist. Just let your hands stretch in this position. And then from here, you could push, lift your hips and pelvis and just stay lifted with your hips and pelvis or you could try kind of moving um, the rib cage up, las costillas también arriba. And then you could come onto your cabeza. And then you could estira your rib cage and give this five to ten breaths. Good, and then when and as you feel ready, lowering the head, lowering the ribs coming all the way back down, circling your wrists here for a moment. Haciendo círculos con las muñecas, making circles with your wrists. Good, estiramos los dedos, stretching your fingertips. Abriendo, so open your pecho, and then bring your knees up, and take your knees, your rodillas, to one elbow, to one codo and then stretch, take your gaze, la vista, en la dirección opuesta. So you're gonna take your gaze in the opposite direction. Good, and then we're gonna lift our legs, so you must Last pierna. So you're going to lift your legs up and then eh, 
this, you know, you're gonna stretch all the way over onto the opposite side. So your rodillas now are moving towards your codo opuesto. And then your gaze, your vista, está sobre otro brazo, over your other arm. Muy bien. And now from here, you're going to just bring yourself back and give yourself any props that would make a little shavasana more comfortable for you. You could put a blanket underneath your head or underneath your shoulder blades, la cabeza o los homoplatos. And then you're going to stretch your legs all the way up. And bring your hands either to the floor or if it feels nice to feel connected to your breathing, puedes respirar aquí. Just spend a moment watching the journey of a few breaths as it comes into your body, makes its way through your body, por el cuerpo. As it makes its way out. See if you can feel the muscles around your jaw soften. Breathing. And also your forehead, la frente. See if you can feel all those muscles relajando. Take one more complete round of breaths just for you, a key on your tapete, here on your mat. And then you can begin to wiggle, moviendo los dedos, and then also your tobillos, also your ankles. Y también las muñecas and your wrists. Hug your knees over your chest. Abrazamos las piernas, las rodillas adentro. And then we're going to take a turn. Giramos. And then let's push all the way up into a seated position. Y nos ponemos las palmas juntas. We'll put our palms together. Bow the head, doblamos la cabeza, bajamos la cabeza y cerramos los ojos. Close the eyes. Your practice is a gift. Tu práctica es un regalo. Muchas gracias y disfruta el resto del día. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day. Namaste.